it's Crazy Van Gogh Slime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with Andor, episode 5. Last week and the last three episodes that we got were absolutely fantastic. I think the whole internet is addicted to it because it's fresh, it's new, like I said last time, and it's from like a whole different perspective. Like there's something beautiful about doing something new. I think we've sort of forgotten that in the culture that we're in in terms of nothing wrong with it, but in terms of that, that sometimes gets lost with, you know, new stories and such. I love, you guys know this, I've said it so many times, I love everything to do with the Skywalkers, all that stuff, but I think it's time to sort of try new things. Like, obviously this is in sort of like that period of time where it's like, especially from the perspective of someone who's starting out so low as Andor, and even as um, Cyril, like he's a young officer, he's learning like the ins and outs of the business, what it's really like. Anyway, enough of that. I'm absolutely enjoying this. We're going to jump into episode five because I'm super excited and let's get straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Eat, sleep, do what you want. You don't know me. I fought in Mingban when I was 16. Two years of it. Straight out of prison into the mud. I'm one of 50 that survived. Then because you ran. That's why. Wouldn't you rather give it all at once? Something real. The call of useless pieces to this nothing. Love that line. Oh, that's a Coruscant! Yes! Let's go. That's just like, wait, that's very Halo-like or even like Mandalore, but Mandalore's destroyed by this point, I'm pretty sure. Further security objectives by collecting intelligence, providing useful analysis, and conducting effective covert action, so. Very good, Dedra. That is verbatim from the ISB mission statement and wrong. <laughs> when you're a know-it-all, you <laughs> get it wrong. Construction ship oh, him! They got a lot of people from Chernobyl to be in this. God damn. <laughs> oh, he shaved it! No! What? You all know my standing on facial hair. I really like it. No! Cassian, do not. You're wasting energy, you know I'm right. We need this. Forbidden in a way, yes. You need everybody to fight the rebellion. Fight for the rebellion, I mean. Are you giving me a choice here? Yeah. Take him or pull it off. Ooh. I was planning to shut you down along the way. For the next three days, if for any reason. Look at me! Oh shit! I wanted to lead! This is what he comes to! Is disposable. Oh, what? You will leave here and be escorted with haste. Oh, they're in trouble. trouble. Oh, you'll be issued to do with this. Exactly. Yeah. He's the leader of the base. You've rung the final bell on corporate independence. As of this morning, the Milana system is under permanent imperial authority. I think this will push him to join the Empire. Like, properly. He told me about the payroll, not the garrison. I don't know who you're talking about. Get down, Tuckin! Damn, so that other guy was lying. <laughs> Jesus, so he actually looks frightened. Oh, get up, go! Hang on. Farnese. Unauthorized Imperial Equipment. Ferrex 0430. Box from Stavard. Has to be. Right, that gives us jurisdiction. I want you to go to Blevin's office, tell them we need everything they've got on board. Ah, what's he doing? Ah, so that's how he has the long hair. Oh my god. That's so weird, but I love it. Relaxes. You've been here, what, just over a year? You might want to steady the ladder. Start climbing. I'm not looking for career advice. Fine. I'll take it to Major Particas. Don't look down. Damn, she's fierce. I like her. I thought I wouldn't enjoy her, but I'm liking her. They do not look happy. Oh, the circle. Oh my god, I love this because it's so different from like. You know, we've seen Coruscant at the top, and the top is like high class, but this stuff is pretty sick. Oh! Oh! 
He's such a stiff board. <laughs> Great actor. Now this is the top end of Coruscant. Senator, what a pleasure to see you. you as well. oh, she's gorgeous. And a serpent from the overworld sharing the same mouth. <laughs> if you can't deliver, I need to know. Okay, I'm not trying. I never think that. We need to start planning if you no longer come me through for us. So good. So good. I found someone I think can help me. You know what I'm asking? No. Vulnerable enough. We need funding, not more people to worry about. Don't lecture me on vulnerability. No one's more at risk than I am. Yes, girl. I'd be the first one to fall. She would be. Don't kill her. Oh, I miss this. Oh my god. In live action too, like properly Coruscant, like gorgeous. Big party. Boris Dango slime more from the Vizier's private chamber. You hate me. They spend every day trying to undo anything you've touched. Not right now, please. Go. Oh, she mad. Don't seat them near me. Oh, I've taken care of that. You're at the boring end of the table. These people are fun. Oh, are they? Are they fun? Well, we should find some gourmet guests for tonight to see how amused they are. Your fun friends just cut off their shipping lanes yesterday. Do you know how many will start? Perhaps you should have a rest. If you make me pay attention, I will, and you won't be happy. Douchebag. Let everything be boring and sad. Oh, shut up. It's pissing me off. <laughs> I will say, though, that is such, like, a moment I didn't expect we were going to get. Um, like, it's, I don't know, it's so, like, grounded. Like, we don't get those moments all the time. Those are the moments that I love. Just the conflict, a bit of romance that's not really working out, and just, I don't know, there's something about it too, because she's got the stress of the entire world on her right now, and then now she's got to worry about a stupid dinner with her husband, who's a douchebag, and I feel bad. I really feel bad. Like, oh, poor thing. I just want to give her a hug. That guy, I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> This room, behind the flight deck, that's a vault. We're taking crates of payroll from that room, loading the freighter, and escaping out of the runway tunnel. Obviously, these case files on my desk that begin to suggest a pattern. You're feeling? I'm seeing signs of coordinated activity over a number of sectors. What activity? Similar items of interest, repeated methods, gut instinct. You came to us from enforcement. Yes, sir. Here, we act on vetted and verified information. I understand why, but if it's coordinated, then shouldn't they do something? And potentially the foundation of a uniquely superior career. We're supposed to be more competent and tucked away. That's why you're here. Hmm. I'm guessing maybe she has parents or someone who has a good reputation. She has to live up to it, maybe. Or maybe she's just good and then she has to live up to that. It's an Aldani phrase book. Can I eat my food? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have learned all that by morning. Oh! It's so random the way they end it. No! Oh, that was great. I really, really enjoyed that. That, again, it really change it changes my expectation of the show every time because it's going to places where i want them to go in other shows um and it, like i'm not expecting it to happen like when obviously watching this show so it feels good to have that happen i love this show um absolutely love um skarsgård i can't remember his first name oh my god stell is it stellan yeah Skarsgård, older father Skarsgård, you know, yeah, he was so good, like, the way he, like, you know, like, we see him, like, change and everything, and then he puts the act on, and then we see him talking very different, and then, like, when he's speaking to, um, Mon Mothma as well, she, the, the lady who's playing a Genevieve, is so good too, and again, that scene with her and her husband and just in Coruscant was so good, like, uh, like, again, like, those were just so down to earth moments and just realistic. It just felt really nice to see that stuff, but it also made me break, like, broke my heart because she's lost so many friends and people to like, 
the Clone Wars and stuff, and it's basically her on her own with Luth and Rail, and, you know, he's, mm, you know. I love that we got to see more of that side this time, because obviously we have spent three episodes with, for example, Cassian, um, so it is nice to sort of jump back and forth now between Coruscant and what Cassian is doing. I do love the where they're going with De- Deirdre, um, the blonde, like, pure blonde lady. She was great. And also something that makes me interested in it is just, like, the fact that the Empire... Like, <laughs> wants so much substantial evidence to be like, okay, let's go after this. Like, only when it connects to, I don't know, the average person, then it's like, oh, okay, then we should go for it. But then, like, like the fact that she was saying, like, it all adds up. Like, this, the same items are being stolen, the same events are happening. Like, there has to be some sort of correlation to it. Nah, no, mm, I don't know. I feel I find that strange. Um, but I do hope we get to see more of that and see like her develop as well as maybe her own like officer and like getting her own like status and stuff. I am um hoping to see more of Cyril. We did see very little of him. Not little, but we've seen him for the last three episodes. I hope we do see more of him. Again, he's a stiff board. The actor's fantastic, but the character's just such a stiff board. It seems like he didn't have a lot of emotion growing up, maybe, but his performance is so fantastic because me and Mitch are actually speaking about it and he represents a side that's entirely different. Like, I only realized that last week after I was, like, re-watching it while I was editing, but he represents a whole different side of the war and even in reality. So, for example, like, obviously we have the Rebellion. We're going for the Rebellion because we go for the underdog. But, for example, like, for Cyril, he's been sort of, not indoctrinated, but he's been sort of brought up in that lifestyle of Coruscant, brought up in the time of the Empire, he believes in that. And also he's brought up to think, like, we work as a team. Like, if we lose one, we, you know, you know, we avenge them. But that isn't the right sort of behaviour, I guess, in the workplace that he's in. Um, And, but we also, like, get to see, like, again, a different side where he, you know, he's upset because he's losing people that... Uh, his colleagues, they're people that he's worked with, fought with. So now he's like, well, aren't we going to do anything to, like, fix this? Like, go after the person who did this? In a way, like, I love how people either sympathise with it or they connect with it or they don't sympathise because, like, that's what you, like, that's the reaction that you're getting. Like, oh, I'm for the rebellion, that's it. But then when you see all sides of it sort of coming together, it's, it's sort of like a, a puzzle and it's beautiful. I'm really, really enjoying the show. Again, Luthan Rail, he's a little bit of a, I don't know... I think it it might be just because, like, he's such a higher-up guy. He's very well-known in Coruscant. So, I'm... I've got mixed feelings about him because he did lie to Cassian and he's a little bit, um... When he wants something, he's very forceful. So, obviously, with I think it was Rey. Um, but, I mean, he's doing what he must to survive. So, I'm excited to see where that goes and, like, more... I'm excited to see more of Mon Mothma. Like, I was hoping that we'd see the dinner scene, but it was only a 15-minute episode, so I knew it wouldn't happen. But... Yeah, I'm excited to see more of her story and also the guy from um The Crown. I can't remember him as his name in real life, but I re- in the trailer like I recognized him. I'm guessing probably we'll see him next episode with the dinner. I'm guessing he's a very trusted friend of hers. Um I hate her husband. Like he's such a douchebag. Like like inviting all the people that your wife has as enemies to a dinner like what? Like and then saying, "Oh, they're the more fun people." Like, "Oh, Mm, I would not let my marriage get that far. That's so toxic. But yeah, I mean, she's doing what she must. And I feel bad for her. Like, oh, it's interesting. And I'm, I don't know. I'm just really liking, like, how, like, grounded this show is a lot more than others. It's so good. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because I'll be sitting here for ages talking about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on Andor Episode 5. Oh, episode 4, sorry. Um, I think I said episode 4. Four, five at the beginning god damn um but episode four so good absolutely loved it i'm super excited for the rest of the episodes i wish we had more but obviously we're only getting one episode per week now which is sort of nice because it sort of doesn't clash with my <laughs> my like timetable and working from home it worked out today because i worked from home today and that was fantastic. It really helped to just jump off the computer from work and then jump in here and just film. It helped so much. So I'm hoping I can do that more. See, I wish I could have, again, I, I wish I could have reacted to House of Dragons because it's a lot better than I thought it would be and I'm absolutely loving it. But anyway, 
Sorry for another time. I'm probably going to react to season two, though, whenever it comes out, because it's just fantastic. It's so good. Anyway, I keep going off track. But anyway, let's stop here, because I'm a little bit shut up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!